Hello everyone, my name is Loredana Vigo and today I'm going to present to you how to define your report hierarchy using folding and groupings. Let's say I am an admin and I want to see a report with how many servers I have in each location and for each server what IP address it is allocated. Let's go to Query Designer and add location, node and IP address to the map. There are cases when the location is not directly connected to the node and the more complex topology is needed, but in this case we will use a simple topology. Let's connect the location to node and connect the IP address to node. Because I am interested in seeing only servers, I will add a condition on node role to contain server in order to display only the nodes that are servers. We can rename the CI types in, in the report to be more meaningful. We can rename node to be server. You can do this from the right slider or from context menu of a CA type. Select the CA type, right click and select rename. In the right slider, enter the new name and click green check mark. Let's go to step two to define the layout of the report. For each CI type, we can select the attributes we want to see in the report. For location, we can select, for example, name and location type. For our servers, we can select the display name, discovered OS version, memory size, domain name, and OS family. We can change the order of the attributes if needed. For IP address, we will select display label and IP address type. Having two types of servers, Unix and Windows, it would be useful to see the information in different categories. Starting from CMS 2020.05, we can create groups based on an attribute value or based on CI type value. In this case, we will create group by CI type for server by using the toggle or selecting server in the hierarchy. Right click on it and select group by CI type. If we want to see the servers under each location, we will move the servers under location using the arrows. Under each server, we would like to see the IP address information. So to accomplish this, we will move the IP address under server. When defining the hierarchy of your report, the arrows are active only if the movement is valid. For example, we cannot put IP address under location because there is no valid connection between these two CA types. This is only one use case, but there are other use cases which might require to create groups based on an attribute value. This can be performed by clicking on group by attribute button and selecting the attribute. Let's save the report. Enter a name, save it and click Next. Because we don't want to apply a policy on top of it, we will skip this step and go to Finish. Add the report to the dashboard by checking Create Widget. Click Finish. Select the color schema for the report and add it to the dashboard. Let's open the report and see the resulting map. You can see that the first level of details corresponds to location. Under each location, we will find the information about the servers and under each server, the IP address information.
Thank you for watching.